What's good? What's good? This your boy DJ Cree back with another video. Man, DJ Envy, Dame Dash, and 50 Cent weigh in on Diddy, and new allegations are swirling every day. I'll get to all that. But we want to first talk about Envy says he doesn't like how people are convicting Diddy before hearing all the evidence and doubles down on the stance that Diddy should have bail. He, as he and his wife, Gia Casey, discussed Diddy's current situation. I'm going to come back with my commentary. Y'all check out this clip because this is crazy. But relating to the new charges, um, we haven't seen the evidence. I can say that it seems, it appears as though he's guilty, but I can't cast my judgment until I hear a lot more about it. But it doesn't look good for him. I will say this. Diddy's a freaky nigga. Like freaky, 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 freaky. Like freaky, freaky, freaky Friday, freaky Thursday, freaky Monday, freaky Wednesday. And, and there's nothing wrong with being a freaky there's person. There's nothing wrong with being so a freaky person. So the fact that he has a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube just means he just likes to get shit popping. And there's nothing wrong. There's no, nothing illegal about that now the one thing i will say that i i don't like is i don't like how people i mean everybody's gonna crack a joke i mean it, it is what it is i don't like how people convict him before hearing all of the evidence right i didn't like the fact that they didn't give him a, a bond and the reason is uh, he was gonna put up 50 million dollars his house his mom's house the reason i feel that is, is he was giving up his passports did he has three kids without a mom mm -hmm. right it, uh, Kim Porter passed away. So he has two twins that are 17 years old that don't have their dad right now and probably won't have their dad for the next two years until the trial is over. I feel like he should have got a bond and been able to fight this outside while he did. Harvey Weinstein had a bond. Bill Cosby had a bond. OJ had a bond. And people could say OJ ran. He he took off and they chased him and he still had a bond. Now, in the, in this in this society, it feels like you're guilty and you have to prove yourself to be innocent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it should be the other way. You should be innocent to proven guilty. Now, the stories that I'm hearing, like I said, I don't know. Uh, hopefully soon we'll see evidence. But I do think it's uh, I think it's sad that somebody with such a great legacy is is destroyed because of the things that he did. Now, if he did do the things that they said that he did, uh, he should go to jail for a long time. If he did, I absolutely positively not even looking back, he should fucking go to jail. But we will see. And the reason I asked you is because, you know, people always ask, how does that affect how you listen to his music, though? Before I answer that question, um, him having three children that are already without a mother and potentially will be without a father if, mm -hmm. you know, being that he's um, not released on bond has nothing to do with it. It does. Not to me. Well, it does. If, if, look at, look at, hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Um, I don't think that has anything to do with it. There's a lot of people that commit crimes that their home life is not all sewn up. Mm -hmm. That's not a factor. If I'm a judge, that's not a factor. Hopefully you have family that can step in in your absence. Um, I'm more so just leaning to what's fair mm -hmm. because I don't believe in anyone being convicted until you know they're proven mm -hmm. guilty. Now, to be honest with y'all, I don't agree with DJ Envy. Uh, for years, we have heard about Diddy and his allegations and the things that he was allegedly behind. Um, and also, we do have the footage of him, um, you know, doing what he did to Cassie. You know, on top of that, there are people claiming that he was intimidating witnesses uh, around the time he knew he was going um, to prison for these, you know, allegations. So I don't agree. I, we all know as black men, we are guilty and to presume innocent. It is what it is, dog. Like, I hate when people act like the, we play by the same playbook as white people do. I'm sorry. I ain't trying to make this racy, but we don't, we don't. It's, it's been like that since, since America's inception, we have not pl been, able to play by the same play but close some plays are kind of the same some some plays are you know congruent with each other but at the same time you got to know where you stand in the situation you know you're going to be you it's a chance you're going to have the book thrown at you quicker than it would a white person that just is what it is and i i hate that envy is on this crazy stance he sound crazy and envy why are you sitting like that bro 
Speak up, man. Put some bass in your voice, dog. Uh, I don't agree with Envy at all. But anyway, let's go get go to Dame Dash in this situation where he's talking about, you know, Diddy's friends. Here we go. What I think is, again, as it affects me, I didn't realize, based on what's being said, that Puff had so much control over so many people in so many industries. And it's a tight knit circle. It seems like they all keep a good secret. This is what it seems like. And it seems like they're very loyal to each other. So if the guy that I'm having a problem with is over there and that's part of their circle of coolness or black excellence or whatever that crew is, that would mean that I can't do business or I could never do business with Puff, even if I wanted to. And probably that to me would mean I can't do business with anybody else that was in that house, that was in that club. So now it all makes sense. You know, like certain people that were cool with me all of a sudden just stopped. Like Kevin Hart, for example, who's another person that I look at like he was on Rockefeller Films, right? Like I discovered Kev and, you know, I, I, we, so what happened with Kevin and I was we kept up with each other. Like up till he was in NYC, he was doing a show at the New York, uh, what, what was it at, Rock? NYU. In NYU. And I went to go see him. At the time he was with Tory, he still had his family with him and he was getting into bigger venues. And, you know, we got pictures, I gotta find them. And then the next time it was the garden and I didn't get the call. And we just stopped being cool. It was like all of a sudden, the minute he got to a certain level, he stopped calling. And that's happened with me with people where once they get, and then all of a sudden there's a whole new set of friends. And now I, you know, I, I see him over there. Like I didn't know all this, but I see him over there. You know, they got the, the tapes of him at the party with the mic. And, and when people ask him questions, he's real serious. And I'm like, Damn, what the fuck is going on? Kev was over there too. <sighs> and now if I could ask him, I'd be like, yo, what the fuck you was doing over there? Like, because I've known these people for 20, 30 years. So I could, you know, we talk like that. So it wouldn't be like an uncomfortable conversation. You're a comedian. I'd be like, yo, you had the baby or you was next to the bed. Like, you got to tell me so. And why are you being so quiet about it? You know what I'm saying? But again, it all makes sense. It'd be like, well, how come... All of a sudden, you just, it was just all of a sudden, you, you, new, new friends. So what it leads me to believe is, if you're going to be friends with those people, they make you choose a side. And they, there's a lot, I, I, I'm like, damn, I got to do, like, literally my instincts were right. I really have to do everything on my own. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do agree with Dame Dash mostly. The only thing is, you know, again, I will say this again. Um, in the court of public opinion, some people won't speak out and wait till evidence does come out and see where this is headed. Because you got to realize it's a lot of people that don't know exactly what went on with Diddy and may be close to him. But it's a lot of people or 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 say a certain majority of people who experienced something totally different you know i don't have a problem with everybody not speaking out because you don't know what levels of hurt to their brand it might happen if they speak out for or against you know so we have to be careful when we try to condemn other people i mean it's a lot of people that know killers people who sell drugs you know child you know and all that and a lot of people don't speak out so speak out what well, that that means everybody should be snitching on each other it's it's a case by case basis and we can't force people to to speak up if they don't want to or scared or want to stay out of people business it is what it is that's the only thing you know and as far as kevin hart again he has a brand he has to stay on brand and he is worth X amount of dollars. And you don't know what business deals Kevin Hart has with other people close to Diddy or even with Diddy. 
you know so i'm not mad at that we can't we can't keep condemning everybody if you're not going to condemn everybody you can't condemn everybody for not speaking out it is what it is now let's go to 50 cent because you know 50 cent had something to say you know this is kind of old but it is relevant here we go your boy 50 cent you know always is is down to troll diddy uh he says he's going to continue to troll him amid you know the sex trafficking trial and he says it seems like i'm doing some extremely outrageous things it's just really just me been saying what i've been saying for 10 years and this is true you know but i'm gonna be honest with you everybody's been saying something about diddy for however many years you know you find out uh through whispers throughout the internet and you can find clips of people talking about diddy and diddy parties and the the good things the bad things you can find it so he's not the only one um that's been saying stuff you know he's one of the bigger voices but it's been plenty of people saying stuff and it's been pe plenty of people plenty of victims coming out and just to refresh our memory it's more like allegations of underage you know people uh saying they were you know involved in these parties or in these you know sex trafficking things or whatever I normally don't try to cover that. I'm, I'm not trying to do that for clickbait or nothing like that. So that's why y'all don't see it all the time. But I will, you know, bring it up when it's relevant. But I think overall, you know, the people that actually have real evidence should get justice. The, these other people, we just don't know. It's just not enough, you know. But I will say this, you know, if you support Diddy, it is what it is but right now you know it's obviously that something has happened in that time frame of what whatever he did and you know we have the right you the people who condemn him have the right to condemn him you know i'm not mad at it at all i just want to be careful about making sure victims get their justice whether it's, it's monetary or you know seeing him do a lengthy pr prison sentence uh but what y'all think about it man your boy <laughs> your boy envy oh god envy stop talking bro y'all need to close that <laughs> close it down but uh dame dash 50 you know they're gonna stay on people's necks about this make sure y'all like comment and subscribe more content is on the way peace